Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ray Torn and welcome back to Heart Farm 4 as we are playing as the Soviet Union. Alright, so the war has started with Germany. Uh, they attacked very close to the historical date. I think it was like five or six days. Yeah, it was the 17th, so about five days uh, away from the historical uh, German attack of the Soviet Union. And so far we're doing pretty darn well. Uh, and, and part of that is because the Germans haven't actually launched any attacks yet. Uh, I don't think we've seen them launch a single attack other than this one. Uh, that's the only one, and that was more of a counterattack since we took this province from them. Uh, so other than that counterattack, they have not attacked anywhere along the entire front. And so I think that's one reason why we're doing so well, is we haven't had to defend yet. Uh, though I do think we would do pretty well in most of these defenses. Uh, there are some weak spots, though, where I think they could push forward if they would just attack. Which, again, I'm really surprised that they haven't been attacking, considering the fact that they're the ones who declare war on us. And yet they're clearly not ready yet. So a few things to do and note before we continue here. Uh, so first of all, we need to build up some infrastructure for some resources that we're lacking. The first one's going to be fuel here, oil. Uh, because, as you can see, we only have 1.2 years left of fuel. So let's go ahead and just take care of this now. Uh, this is one way to do it. The other way would be to, uh, you know, because it's going to give us more oil, which we can turn into fuel. Uh, the more efficient way is to start getting some of those techs, uh, but obviously can't do that yet since all our tech slots are busy. Uh, so we're just going to put this, we'll put it under the, the forts here. We do have over a year's worth of fuel, so I think we'll be okay for now. Uh, another thing we could do is I think there's some places that might give us some tungsten. They got 14 there, and then I think there's one more that has a good chunk of it. I don't remember where it's at though. Uh, but yeah, we could go ahead and build... Oh, did I just pass it? Nope, that's six. Maybe it's over here somewhere. Uh, there we go. 27 tungsten right here. So yeah, we could go ahead and build up here for some tungsten. And there's another one right here. So we'll build those two locations up. And again, just kind of put them under the, uh, under the forts, but over the factories for now. Since remember, we are getting 10 military factories here. In addition to the land equipment experience cost reduction. Now, what I should have done since the war had already started and I completely forgot that we needed to get this was the war economy. 70 days here, this gives you two military factories and it will allow us to switch to war economy without having to use political power, uh, minus the 70 political power that we're spending there, which is still cheaper. I suppose we could switch over to it because it does save up to 15 days, so there's really no reason why we couldn't switch. You know what, let's go ahead and do that, guys. I think that would be the better option for us. We want to be on war economy for obvious reasons. And then uh, it does give two military factories, which, you know, isn't isn't 10, of course. Now, the last thing to note is about France here and Syria. A lot of people were concerned about this. I've been meaning to address it for a couple videos because it's been getting brought up quite a bit uh, because we weren't defending the frontier. Remember that they are not part of the Axis, uh, so they probably won't get pulled into the war. And I, I think on historical AI, they're supposed to not get pulled into the war. Uh, but they are, you know, set up so that they have their independence guaranteed by the Germans. Uh, but they're not in the faction, and uh, on historical AI, I believe they shouldn't join the faction. I have seen them do it uh, when they're not on historical AI, uh, but we should be all right here. And if, if something does happen, then we'll bring troops down here, but we don't need to be uh, putting this many troops on this border for something that likely won't happen, or hopefully won't happen. Uh, so for now, we're good and don't have to worry about Syria. Uh, but let's go ahead and start, or continue our attack here. Remember, just playing on speed two, nice and slow. Uh, getting attacked there and they would be able to cut us off right here so that's a problem they'll get there when one day in six hours uh how do we want to do this we want to keep them cut off frankly we just need more troops i uh, got some guys coming over here i guess the best way to do it is see if they can beat them probably not one day in 15 hours so very close almost there so what we might want to do then can these guys get over here in time they can so we'll just launch an attack like so we could also bring the tanks back, but we'll, we'll just kind of pay attention to this. We're playing slow, so we should be should be all right. Uh, still attacking there. Our defense here has finished up, uh, but can we push forward? I guess that's the question. I don't know. These guys are pretty weak here. And you know what? Let's make sure that all of our divisions stay in this province here. We could let some go over that way, I suppose. Yeah, we'll let some go over here. Now, our attacks over here, unfortunately, were not successful. There's far too many divisions. And so my attempt to cut these guys off, it looks like it's not going to work. You know, we really can't complain because so many things went so fantastically well. We should be happy with the things that did go well. Uh, we need to grab this port over here. 
Uh, and they're actually attacking here, that's wise, uh, to stop me from being able to, uh, to stop them. You can get there with the tank before they are able to arrive because the tanks are sort on fast, but then we leave this open for somebody else to take it, so it is a problem uh, we need to get solved. Uh, the British lost one of the destroyers here. It looks like our submarines were involved but didn't take any damage. Let's see if they did any damage to anybody. Yeah, it looks like the, the Italians have taken uh, a little bit of ship damage there. All right, so I'm going to attempt to do an attack here once this blue army gets here. We're going to try and take that province so we can at least destroy those units. We are having an attack here into the forest, but I think that's okay, although there might be a river right here. Kind of hard to tell. So yeah, just real slow going here, and it looks like this will not be successful now because somebody else has gotten there. Uh, let's see if we can't send another division in. And maybe support with this guy here. See if that turns it around. It's green now. I really want to take that air base because remember we're losing in the skies in that area. That's the only area in the skies where we're actually losing. So they're attacking us here now and it looks like that will be a victory. Let me see if I can't push forward here. Oh, okay. We actually already cut them off. Excellent. Uh, let's hurry up and get across this river. I know we're, we're moving fast, faster than our supply can keep up and uh, it's going to cause issues. But man, there's like nobody here, so I don't want to like stop the offensive. So I don't know about a move anywhere against these guys just yet. Just too many divisions as of right now. Still trying to get this wrapped up too. I know that these are not offensive divisions, but we're, we're clearly going to have to use them in that purpose a little bit. Just to get these guys pushed back here. And is nobody staying in this one province here? Maybe these guys are going there? I don't know. Let's, let's take one of them and have him go over here. Just kind of help out. And just start pushing forward. So I'm support here so we can get that province that will be huge for us. All right, so this guy's pushing forward over here. There we go. So we'll keep him attacking there so we can get this offensive done. Just need to get all these divisions here wrapped up. And you know what? This red army does not need to be attacking across the river. So let's bring them over this way so they can actually start launching attacks. Now let's take a look, see what happened over here. We lost two destroyers and two submarines and didn't do hardly anything. All right, so that's not good. Uh, I was worried that that's what was gonna happen here. So because of that, we're gonna make some adjustments here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to make a few adjustments. Uh, so let's go and put these guys over here to kind of replace the uh, two destroyers that we lost and then put them on the convoy escort. But you know what? I think we're gonna pull them out of the Danish Straits and just keep them in this, these two areas for now. Obviously that's not optimum, but not much else to be done there. But we, We'll probably keep our submarines there for now. Yeah, let's keep our submarines there. Yeah, I think that's fine. If we continue losing submarines, we have a lot of them, so I'm not too worried about it. We can just replace any any losses here fairly easily, uh, which would be this guy here and this one here. There we go, beautiful. And those are old, old submarines, so they're not all that great anyways. Uh, we did win here. Uh, it does look like they've pulled back from that location for good reason, I suppose. And uh, let's go ahead and try and push forward. How do we want to do this? Let's go put three divisions that way. Can't attack that way since they're currently attacking us, so we'll have to wait until the, the defense finishes up over here. There we go, and then we'll attack right there. Yeah, it should be a nice, easy attack. And it looks like one of these guys would do well to go over here. Okay, so yeah, this is opened wide, uh, wide open for us. I was not expecting that, honestly. I don't think we're taking that airbase, guys. I'm gonna try and support with this yellow division, but you know what? We are putting ourselves in an exposed position here. Uh, this might be the, the troublesome area, which is surprising because there weren't very many troops on the Hungarian border, and I was expecting it to be uh, a really easy uh, front. So these were uh, troop convoys, so we just sunk an entire division right there. So that worked out fairly well for us. Uh, the Ger Germans have not taken the Aegean Islands here just yet, so the Greeks are still in the fight. Where are those divisions I sent over here? On their way. They've got a ways to go. Okay. So we're going to try and take out those Italians there. That'll help us out quite a bit. We did finish this up here. Let's go ahead and try and launch this attack now. And it is a massive failure. Wow. A little bit surprised with that. So we're going to send more divisions in. Looks like that is green. Oh, it's it's four German divisions here. Okay, I, I suppose that makes sense. Uh, we're also slated to lose here. 
So let's go ahead and throw another vision over there. I'll go ahead and attack this way as well, see if that's a success. But yeah, it does look like we're gonna lose right there. So we're starting to see them react a bit now. Uh, this is across a river, and we are winning. You know what? Let's stop that. Stop the madness. You can see that here they're about to push us back. Let's go and send another German division over, or excuse me, another tank division over there. I'm going to try and get across the Danzig, but I don't think we'll get there before this guy. He's pretty weak, though, so maybe we'll be able to defeat him. Uh, we should be able to take that province now. We pushed him back. Having difficulty here, though, so let's just go and pull that back and just let our guys get their organization and stuff back up. We got ourselves an ace pilot. Excellent. Alright, so yeah, we want to get the win there before we attack anywhere else, I think. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, they might beat us back here, even with that tank I just sent there. The other one has retreated. Alright, I don't know where this guy's going, but let's go ahead and keep some of these red divisions on the front. You can see they're trying to uh, retreat here, which is not what we want. Uh, can we get there before him? I think so. I think we're going to grab Danzig from him. Which, remember, was our entire goal of this offensive, was to go get up to Danzig which we have now achieved. All right, excellent, that worked out nicely. Uh, let's have this guy cover that front for us, or that province, so that we, get, we don't get uh, cut off here. Let's launch another attack here so they're not able to restore their uh, organization. And then go ahead and support. It looks like that is not going to work, guys. All right, so we'll just go ahead and halt them. All of them. Yeah, I don't see the point of doing that attack if we're not gonna advance or have any success so these guys can go ahead and go right across the river and we will do that they did defeat us here okay so that's uh unfortunately a loss for us but we'll keep on pushing forward here uh and i, I want to say that what happened here is that they just didn't reinforce fast enough yeah they shouldn't have been able to defeat us there honestly so let me go ahead and put another blue army division here see if we can't get there before them uh looks like they're gonna get there in six hours i don't think so but we'll keep the attack going uh let's go ahead and send more divisions over here and we're actually not going to cover this province. Uh, Blue Army, remember, is strictly for the offensive. So we want them in these provinces here. Uh, we did get a free dockyard. I don't know if we took that in Danzig, perhaps? Yeah, maybe. Uh, so let's go and get it assigned somewhere. And we'll probably have to do more submarines. I imagine we're going to take some losses here. I mean, we'd already have taken losses, haven't we? Uh, we do need to train for more tungsten as well from the British Raj. Oh yes, I completely forgot that we were going to go ahead and make adjustments to our division design. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll start with the Krypton tanks here because we're just going to duplicate this and then turn them into medium tanks. That is a cheaper way to go despite the fact that we have to change every single one of these. That's the same cost uh, as just adding new ones. In fact, adding new ones can be more expensive. And then also, we won't have to do as much over here with the support company. So let's go ahead and get one more support company for the light tanks and maintenance. Yeah, we'll get the maintenance companies here, and I think that's good. Uh, I was going to change the artillery over to anti-tank, and maybe we will in the future. Uh, however, as of right now, I think we're okay, because I haven't really seen a whole lot of German tanks on the front. There's a few. Yeah, there's certainly a few here. We might want to get them anti-tanks, but I think we're short on anti-tanks right now, so let's just wait to do that until it's no longer an issue. Uh, and also, when we're, probably, we're not in combat as well, because uh, just making changes in combat does uh is overall a negative uh, you can see that this uh defense here changed almost immediately so yeah probably not the best way to do it is you know changing it while they're in combat but we're probably gonna be in combat for some time uh so let's go ahead and duplicate this all right so based on the suggestions in the comments we're gonna name them Praetorian's comrades they're they're my comrades and uh we will want to go ahead and start getting these changed over to the medium tanks now and it's likely going to cost way more experience than we have, so we're probably not going to do it in one shot. Maybe even change some of these up to mechanized now. Oops. Because I think we do have a good stockpile of mechanized. So just change them a little bit at a time. Although we probably won't want to start building them because of the shortage. Man, that's all the experience we have. We barely got to do anything here. Alright, that's unfortunate. Alright, so we'll just have to leave it as is for now. And uh, just slowly keep making adjustments. It's just so expensive. Uh, to design divisions. I really feel like they need to rebalance that now that the army experience is used for so many other things. I don't know. It just feels like designing divisions is incredibly expensive army experience wise. Uh, considering the fact that not only do you have to use the experience for the, the, the tank designs, but you also have to use them for the 
uh, now for your doctrines. So I think that's kind of the, the biggest issue. I, mean, I don't even want to start training those now because we, we have shortages of a lot of that type of equipment. Uh, the light tanks, for instance. We finally have it where it's not a shortage. But yeah, I don't really want to pull all those trucks either, though. Since we need those for our supply system. Uh, speaking of the supply system, let's see if we seize control of the railroads here yet. No. We'll get them five days here, eight over here, and nine over here. So supply is an issue. We are using trucks, though, from over here. And uh, honestly, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, the supply is not, not too bad. Now, unfortunately, we can't push into here, and I hate that they're getting their organization up at this moment. And it looks like we might have lost... Okay, no, no, we took this province here. All right, excellent. We can keep pushing forward there, but I really want to take this location first because they can always escape with that uh, out of that port right now, so that's kind of a problem. Actually, you know what? Let's take all these guys and put them onto this one. Maybe take a couple and bring them over here. Yeah, we'll take two of them and bring them over here. That'll get us up to 10 divisions there, and then we have 10 over here, so that's our full 20 right now. Yeah, I think that's good. That's a good way to do it. Just bring a few more divisions down to the southern front here. Uh, we might want to bring some of these guys as well. We actually have quite a few divisions, 17 total. I, I feel like something got messed up there, actually. Yeah, this shouldn't have been that many. Uh, so let's just go ahead and make some adjustments here. But yeah, you can see there's like hardly any of these uh, blue divisions down here right now. And, yeah, maybe take all the ones that are here. Make sure that they stay here as well. Though, I don't want to mess up their movement here either. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. We at least have Red Army divisions all along the front. Uh, we did get the last of the machine-assisted decryption. And that'll make it so that we're 186 days of getting the Germans done. Uh, and then 72 days for the Italians, which we're not currently working on just yet. Because it does take longer if you work on more than one. So the next thing we're going to get here, I think, is going to be the anti-partisan. You know, it might be better to get this one, get our own cryptology level up, so they can't get those uh, bonuses against us. We lost five more submarines. It did sink five convoys. I don't know if those are troop convoys. Yeah, it looks like they might have been troop convoys, so in that sense, uh, I feel like having the submarines through here is worth it. I will lose a ton of submarines if I get, in exchange, I'm able to uh, destroy actual army units. So we did win over here, so these guys are now cut off from supply. Uh, let's go ahead and get them wrapped up and destroyed. We're just going to attack with all these divisions here. Again, I know that these are not uh, our offensive divisions, but that's okay. On support there. Uh, let's see if we can do anything here yet. They have less divisions. I just don't think we'll be able to do anything until we get the uh, support divisions over here. Let's go and pull one of these guys off and bring him... Just anywhere to get them out of the uh, uh, supply situation here. Now that there's not so many divisions. And once those five divisions here get there, then supply will be even worse in that location. They're already using the motorized. So there's not much else I can do to improve it. I want to attack in the airbase. I think that's key for us uh, to hit this airbase. But yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, do it until we get our organization up. And even then, we might not be able to do it. Yeah, there's nowhere to win up along here either. You can see that they're having supply issues, though, so that's good. Uh, somebody told me that I didn't assign... Yeah, we set them up, but we didn't actually assign them to do the strategic bombing. So I did forget about that. So we got that fixed now. And you notice that in Western Poland, we no longer are in the green. They have assigned an absolute ton of planes here, mostly from Germany, of course. And so now we no longer control, and, and it does look like they're likely going to uh, gain control very soon. Uh, yeah, that's I suppose that's not really surprising. We are still fighting in this region, so might as well keep those 200 fighters there for now. Uh, we are, we have, we're already doing the more ground crews, so that's not an option, but we now have control of the Northern Balkans. Okay, so yeah, it looks like they, they moved the planes that were here and moved them over to Western Poland, which of course is a more important front. Uh, so I'm actually surprised that they just now did that. All right. Uh, remember, we're still bombing these areas, too. Though I don't think those bombers can reach all the way over there. We can take a look real quick. They can reach most of it. There's a couple uh, sea provinces they can't get to. All right. So, yeah, we want to attack there again. I'm, I'm really not happy about them being able to restore the organization. So let's just go in and throw an attack here just to make it so they can't 
continue to build that organization back up. Had a rather big uh, sea battle here, which we took part in. Mostly the British against the Italians here. They lost two destroyers and two convoys, while the British and the Greeks lost ten destroyers total and a light cruiser, and we had some of our planes shot down. Okay, uh, so it does seem like the the Axis is doing fairly well over here. It does appear that there's some German convoys going through here. I'm, I'm assuming they're coming to Rhodes, so that's not good. Uh, that'll give them another point to attack. Now, we have plenty of divisions here, and that's not really the problem. I'm not worried about them advancing. Uh, the problem is that we won't be able to attack forward if that continues like that. Uh, so this front is all messed up. Yeah, this is looking ugly. So we need to get this fixed. Uh, so let me just see what we can do here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create it into turn it into one front for both the green army and the blue army. Get rid of the rest of these because it's just uh, confusing. Uh, so the green front's going to go all the way down to here. While the blue front will be staying where it's currently at as we're attempting to push forward towards the capital there. Yeah, we're going to leave the blue front where it's at as of right now. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody in the blue army is assigned to it. And we'll let the green army wrap that up, I think. Yeah, and we take higher casualties whenever we use those uh, defensive troops because they're, they're so cruddy. Uh, it does look like we got pushed out of Danzig. Oh, that's unfortunate. Or we just left. I guarantee we just left it. Yep, I bet one of these tank units, he was assigned here to uh, defend Danzig, and then I bet he just left. Oh, damn, that sucks. Because that's across the river, so yeah, that's a real negative, guys. Yeah, very unfortunate that he left. Yeah, and you just got to micro the hell out of your divisions. And wait for, even if you're not, like, microing, as I am, you still have to micro the divisions because, like, the, the front management. Uh, you know, what happened is... That division, despite the fact that he's probably assigned to this front, just kind of switched himself over to this front. And so it just re requires that you're constantly uh, paying attention to what your your divisions are doing, even if the AI is in control of them. All right, so I'm going to go over there, and we'll attack here as well. They made the mistake of, of attacking us there, uh, though it does look like they just got somebody there in time. All right, so that's not going to work now. Uh, still pushing forward here. That's that province we lost. We'll continue trying to attack there. And... Could cut this guy off here. It looks like we're going to have to defend, though. I don't know if we'll be able to hold that province. I guess we'll find out. So just waiting for more divisions to get on that front. Just trying to keep our eyes on all the fronts as well. Because you see the here, like, we're having overlap issues. But I think we're going to want to pull back. No, I'm not entirely sure who we should pull back. Probably the Yellow Army. If I can get them to pull back. There we go. So they can bring these divisions down this way. Yeah, I just don't think we're going to win here. They have far too many divisions there. Not without more troops anyways. Alright, so the tank had to defend here. That means he's not going to be able to get the Danzig. Not surprising. And does look like this offensive failed as well. Uh, but of course the main goal there was to just try and make sure they can't restore the organization. So with that in mind, we're going to continue to attack here. Even though we know it's likely going to fail. Let's see what we did over here. We just lost a plane. We didn't even damage those convoys, unfortunately. Uh, we do still have them engaged, though, so we might be able to catch them. Yeah, this is just shows you how bad these divisions are. Let's go ahead and try and assist them. See if we can't get this done a little bit quicker if we throw in some actual offensive divisions here. Of course, those ones would have to get off the line for that to work, though we did just increase the size of the front. And uh, we just knocked out the research of the naval bombers, which would be super helpful with the increased range. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get the next strategic bombers going. Uh, so let's switch the naval bombers out. And you know what? We're going to give them another factory. In fact, we're really short on factories, aren't we? Okay. Well, we'll get a couple here once we get that done. Yeah, just keep this attack going so they can never restore their organization. And unfortunately, we're losing in several locations here. All right, let's go and attack there. Looks like we lost that province there. Yeah, having some difficulty up along this front. They're actually starting to attack now, as you can see. And they are caught off guard. I think they thought they would just be able to just stomp on into Soviet territory without any resistance. And uh, were they not in the war? Yeah, maybe they weren't in the war yet. Now, we have divisions heading over there. I don't know how far away they are. Or if they're taking the railroads. Where are those divisions? 
Okay, it looks like they're gonna try and go across a sea. That would not be the best way to go. But there's no other way to go because we don't have access to Finland. Now we could ask them for military access, but it looks like they would say no. So they'd have to go across the sea. And thus what we should be doing, we're gonna have to micro this. Let's have them go up to here and then go to Stockholm. Cause yeah, I do not want the Germans getting into Sweden. I think that would be absolutely disastrous. I'm going to accept these non-aggression packs with all the, the allies. And again, just keep on attacking here and just never let them have a break once he fails that attack. And our troops from uh, Greece have returned. All right, excellent. So we'll get those guys out there. So as soon as he finishes, you know, we'll just, never mind. I'm going to do another attack again here. Just as our troops get their, their planning bonuses up. Yeah, we'll let them continue to get their planning bonuses up. All right, so we have our three volunteers over here. Let's go ahead and take them and split them up a little bit. We're going to have one of them go into this army here. And then the other two divisions are going to go into this army here, where you can see we can't even advance right now. And they are actually launching their own attacks here. And it looks like we're having some difficulty now. Yep, because they're launching an attack right there. And I think another problem is that our yellow army is uh, currently repositioning themselves. So that's causing some issues. All right, so they would win there, despite the fact that I think we're fighting in the, the mountains. Let's bring... I'm not sure we want to do it. Probably here. Bring both of them and see if we can't attack with a whole five mountain troops. See if that's enough. Uh, but yeah, they're attacking in the mountains here and winning. There's also rain right there uh, so let's go ahead and just change this up a little bit I'm not entirely sure where they're going but we're gonna reposition everybody I know they're gonna lose their entrenchment in doing so but gotta make sure they don't take that province because that is our mountain province and so we really don't want them uh, taking that from us they're attacking across here across the river getting that penalty uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do an attack here trying to stop that despite the fact that they're probably taking high casualties in it we just want to make sure we don't lose there uh, we did win here uh, with those two divisions excellent it's not looking good keeping this attack going here once it finishes up in fact we'll just go and stop it now and uh, we do have an air base here so it would be closer into this area than this one is uh, looks like we just have the tactical bombers there so they're fine these guys here can move over there, but one thing to consider is that this would use supply up by moving them over there. Uh, let's just move a few, since I don't know how much this is going to cost us supply-wise. So maybe just w use uh, one fighter wing over here. Because, yeah, we do have some supply issues here. Uh, we did lose Danzig, unfortunately. Looks like we're losing across the entire front here. The Germans are having a lot more success pushing us back now. So we need to get this wrapped up like stat. All right, so it's going to attack with all these guys here. See if that's a win. Looks like it is not. Turned it into the green now. We're probably going to have to send more divisions into it. I don't think they're going to win otherwise. Uh, let's also go ahead and delete this front here. It's kind of cleaning stuff up as we go. And you know what? I don't think they were getting a planning bonus. I don't think they have an offensive order here. So let's go ahead and fix that. So if we lose that, the next time we'll have the bonus. We did sink one of those German convoys. At least the troops here will be weaker. I'm going to try and attack across here. And it looks like we would win. That would be fantastic if we get there with the troops that we have. Oh, these guys are actually set to go here. All right. Uh, let's take a look at this battle over here in the Baltic. We sunk seven German convoys, which, remember, those were troop convoys. Uh, so we are doing some significant damage uh, to their, their troops that are going across the sea, which is kind of foolish on their part, of course. All right, so we were able to get to Danzig. All right, interesting. We were able to defeat who was whoever was there. And I'm going to bring this division over there to, to help occupy it. And we were also able to get a tank division here just in time. I know this is kind of risky, but we're going to go ahead and push forward. Try and grab that location there. Could attack all across here, but yeah, I'm just trying to focus on getting that one port location taken. Might go ahead and do is doing attack here though since they are you know doing okay in that attack this look like they pushed us back all right so that's unfortunate that's where we had that air base so when does he get there one day and three hours can we beat him 
I guess is the question here. One day and four hours. They'd get there one hour before us, so because of that, we're going to have to launch an attack here, unfortunately. Alright, so let's go and take a look, see what happened here when we were attacking those convoys. We sunk three of them, so it's about a division or so, uh, but we lost four submarines in the process. Luckily, we got a crap ton of submarines. Uh, of cruddy submarines, of course, but still. Alright, so we've been sitting here for a little while. Let's see if an attack would work now. Still trying to grab control of that airbase there. We are in the green here now that we gave them an additional division, so that's fantastic news. Remember, we are getting these uh, combat bonuses here from having the train here. And I guess we'll keep them here since they need it, but we need to move the train up forward to get the combat bonuses in our actual offensives here. Uh, we are in a position to potentially cut these guys off. You can see they're now trying to attack across the river. That's not going to go well for them. Let's go and support here and just cut these guys off. Get them destroyed. This does look like it's going to be a failure, uh, but we've gotten it in a pretty good position here. So I think we're all right. We're going to pull it back now. I'd like to be able to win there, so let's see if we can't send two tanks into it and, and get a victory. We'll go and support with these guys as well. Okay, so pushing forward on many of the fronts. We haven't really done anything here. That's because supply is such an issue. Uh, let me see if we can't fix that some. It's not connected to our rail network. That's what the issue here is. Okay, I see. So we need to connect that. It's only a few provinces away from being connected. Where is the... Okay, so it goes this way. So yeah, we, we clearly have to connect it with the rail network. Now there is this way as well. But as you can see, it's not connected here either. And that might be the, well, nope, because it's all level one throughout here. So yeah, we'll just connect it here because it's literally one province away. Uh, so that's how we'll do it. This will help a bit. And it's actually building a level two because this one here is a level two. But we're going to just turn it to level one because the rest of this this line is all level one, so I don't really see the point. Uh, so let's go and throw that up at the top and prioritize that. I know we're still trying to build uh, this supply hub over here as well. I think that's that one there. Just takes so long to build these guys, the supply hubs. Also, we still got those forts building. Uh, I know that this one here would still be useful because you can see we haven't really pushed the, the front forward at all there. Uh, the ones we were building here though, that was would only be useful if we get uh, forced back, which is still a possibility, guys. I know a lot of people are like, oh, the Germans are done for. You know, Barbarossa is done for, we've, we've won. Uh, but I don't think that's the case, guys. I don't think we've won for sure here. We failed in the attack, so now they get there in 18 hours. But did we delay them enough? We did. Okay, so we'll get there just in time. And these divisions here were just forced back because they weren't able to reinforce fast enough. And we're actually losing here again. Okay. Remember, we didn't have the planning bonus that time, so that might have made a difference. And yeah, I just can't get the win here in Danzig now. Attacking across a river, it's, it's rough. Uh, let's see what happened over here. Sunk another German convoy, and it looks like we're still winning against the Itali Italians here, so we might actually take roads from them. That'd be fantastic, because then we only have to worry about naval invasions. All right, so just looking for somewhere to push forward here. Yeah, I mean, the supply is such an issue. I don't know how well we'll do, but we will try. Uh, though I don't think we need to defend this one here. Let's just focus on these areas with the blue army. But let's go and try and attack here. See if it ends up uh, being a success. It's yellow right now. Yeah, I don't know, guys. How are we doing in the skies? We still control the skies, but remember, we don't actually have any close air support helping us here. I almost want to pull out of Western Poland because they have so many planes here that we're not even contending at this point. It almost feels like it would be better to, to put them elsewhere. I know this is the key area here, though, which is the reason why we're helping, but how many planes are we losing because they uh, dominate it? But then there's the question is, you know, if we pull them all out, uh, then do they uh, move their planes elsewhere? Or do they keep them there? It's really hard to say. I guess we'll keep them there for now, but remember, we are taking heavy casualties there. Uh, with our planes, I mean. Uh, let's go ahead and try and wrap these guys up here. And we're going to need to launch an attack here, even though I don't want to. I really want to get this taken, but it's just not working, guys. Yeah, just not working, unfortunately. And we'll try and attack Konigsberg again, as soon as we're able to. They just keep getting the divisions over to Danzig before we can get across that dang river. 
is not fast enough. Did sink another Italian convoy here. Excellent. And we did take Rhodes. All right, that's fantastic news. So that frees up these divisions here that I was saving. And we can go ahead and send them into a different army. As far as which army needs them more, you know, we have the, the army here to try and push forward against the uh, Bulgarians. And then we have the army here trying to push forward against the Hungarians. I think we'll send a little bit to each. Uh, supply is an issue here. So let's not send all, you know, five here for that reason. We'll just send three more, get them up to the 15 divisions there. And then with the last two here, we'll send them over to this front. Maybe like one right there and one right here. Yeah, I think that's what way we should do it. All right, so one right here. And then, oh lord, I don't know which uh, army that is. I have too many armies of this color here. I'm gonna have to change that up. And then uh, one will go over to this location. Uh, we're still holding out on those defenses there. We are losing here. This is that province that we just took. Uh, we're winning there on that defense. We also won there, but it does look like they're about to get a division there to stop us. 19 hours, when do we get there? Four hours, okay, that would not stop us. Fantastic news. They're attacking all up along this front here. Let's go ahead and push forward here. Let's try and get those guys pushed back. And yes, it does look like the attack on Danzig is going to be a failure. Again, we can try it, adding a little bit of assistance there, but having some difficulty. Also, we lost here. Okay, let's go and pull that back. So that was where we had the airbase. So I don't know where those planes flew to. Maybe, it looks like they flew right back to where we had them before. Uh, but we're now overstaffed here. So let's just go and move these guys over to a different airbase. We can move into this one, I suppose. We do have these troops now cut off. So we got to get them uh, actually destroyed. Let's go and make that happen. Uh, we are losing that, but it looks like we'll have a division come assist us. So it should be fine. Uh, we should focus our attacks here. Attack that guy. And then uh, go and attack with these guys as well. I am attacking a lot more with my defensive divisions than I originally intended to. Again, they're not really designed for attacking. We need to keep these guys here for a little while at least. Uh, but a lot of these guys could go to other fronts. Of course, the problem here is that we need to create a whole new defensive army. Yeah, we're going to have to create a whole new defensive army. Now, we need to keep some divisions in ports. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. We also have to keep these guys here. So let's go and take these divisions and start moving them into the ports just in case they attempt to launch attacks against us. And I think that's good. I think that's all the ports that they could potentially attack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So what we can do is just take the rest of these and, and go ahead and start creating a new army. Yeah, we're going to create a new army. Uh, these guys, of course, are over here. I'm going to change up their color uh, because they're confusing the hell out of me. And we will give them, let's see what color we want them to be. Starting to run out of colors here, aren't we? We're going to have to start making some variations and stuff. All right, so they're coming over this way and they will uh, get over to their front. And it looks like they're all going. And the Germans were not able to get across there, which is fantastic. But how are the Swedish doing against the Germans in Norway? It does look like they advanced a little bit. Yeah, they are advancing a little bit. Uh, but that's helping us out a lot, that the Germans are currently distracted along that front. It's kind of keeping some of them off of this front uh, where they are. There's a lot of divisions. Uh, there's a lot of divisions over here, guys. Uh, this is not going to work. I didn't think it was going to, honestly. Just thought we'd try it out. We sent more divisions over to them. I don't know if that's the best place to be launching our offensive, though, honestly. There's so many other weaker locations that are more important. So I kind of want to change up where we're attacking. We'll attack here again. They yeah, have surprised with their ability to resist us here just from, you know, they have the port, so that's enough to give them supplies. But yeah, we've had some, some difficulty, quite a bit of difficulty, actually. I'm going to try and attack here again, uh, just because I don't want these guys leaving here. And then we'll support with these guys, but yeah, I don't think we'll win this. Also, still not able to get over to Danzig. Oh, Lord. And try and send an attack again. I know that this is uh, perhaps not the best way to do this, but... Yeah, it just doesn't look like we can win there. 
All right, whatever. We have the river here to defend behind, and that's what we'll continue to do. Just defend behind the river. Now, I'm not entirely sure why there's so many divisions over here in this one province. It's all one front, right? Yep, it's all, it's all one front. And yet, uh, I guess they, they want to get across Danzig, maybe? All right, so going to get that division uh, destroyed. I think there was two divisions there originally. Uh, sunk five more German convoys. And uh, remember, these are all troop convoys. I think they're coming from Africa. And so, yeah, this is just working out really, really well for us. We don't have a red defensive army. All right, so we'll go ahead and give them a commander, our best defensive guy. Uh, yeah, I was planning on using this guy for something else. I, I thought that he was supposed to betray us. When does that happen? Does that happen on a certain date or something? Because, yeah, I'm not using him because he, he's... Somebody told me he was... Uh, there's an event where he betrays you because uh, he historically betrayed the Soviets. But we haven't seen that pop up yet. So we'll just put him uh, in charge of... Put this guy in charge of him. And then for now, I, I suppose we can go and start moving him over to the front. And determine where we want them to be. And I think the best location to have them would likely be up along here. So you can decrease the yellow army front by a little bit and decrease the green army front. Yeah. So just kind of put them in between these two armies. So it's going to get them moving over there now. And just make sure that any divisions, extra divisions, are, are going over there. All right, so he's going over there. I think I put one over there already, didn't I? Yep. Okay, so this guy will go into this one. Give us five total divisions in that army. And we have more defensive troops training as well. Yeah, I just can't uh, advance here. But now that we've taken this province, we have another area to attack from. So we'll just wait. And let's take all these guys make sure they stay on this front here. I don't want them leaving over to the other front once this one disappears. Now let's go and check with these guys try and get this done. Almost, almost got that guy wrapped up. Now I feel like we missed an opportunity to get Danzig. I feel like that was really uh, open to us. So they're attacking here and, and barely winning. Uh, we're winning here. Still trying to get these divisions wrapped up. So let's go ahead and send another one into it. Uh, we might be able to advance there. I'm not entirely sure. Able to hold here, but I think we lost that province. Yeah, just not really anywhere to, to attack and get some sure success. Maybe here. We can try. Oh, we wouldn't be able to support with those tanks. Never mind. Let's cross the river. I didn't realize that. Uh, you know what? We might actually get a win here. In which case, we'll just we'll just support. And we might be able to get a win there. Bunch of uh, diplomatic offers. I assume these are all non-aggression packs. Uh, Mongolia wants to send an expeditionary force. I guess we can use those for uh, defensive purposes. I don't know how good their their divisions are. Probably pretty cruddy, honestly. But we'll accept them. And we'll take a look at them. See if they're decent. Uh, we'll go ahead and assign... All these non-aggression packs with the allies. And let's go and take a look at what happened in the seas. Lost a plane there. Fortunately didn't sink any of those convoys. But yeah, these are all troop convoys. I don't know what they're doing there. Retreating or, or entering, I guess, is the concern. If they're entering here, we could end up having a serious issue where they push us back here. It's just surprising they've done so well uh, holding out on that port there. Uh, we sunk a Italian destroyer there. Somebody sunk an Italian destroyer. And actually, look, we got more troop convoys here engaged as well. Uh, more here. Yeah, just so many Axis troops in the sea uh, that we're getting destroyed. And we can do the war bonds here. But political power is an issue, so we will not be doing that, despite the fact that we could really use the civilian factories. I want to spend those... Uh, uh, that political power and other things right now. I really want to get some of these things filled out because uh, it's about time that we did it. All right, so these are the Mongolian divisions. Let's take a look at their template. They're pretty garbage. Yeah, they're horrible. All right, are they all the same design here? Let's just take a look. Artillery template one. This is a different one. All right, yeah, they're really bad. We'll put them in our training army for now. They give us 10 total. We'll just put them in the training army and let them train up. And that'll allow me to pull this guy out as well. And we'll throw him over to this army here. And then what we might want to do... Oh, nope, that's the wrong army. It's supposed to be this army here. 
And what we might want to do is go and make sure that they're on this front here, because, yeah, we need to uh, pull this guy off. I don't really see the point on having him on there since he's not really fighting. Uh, we need another field marshal. Okay, so yeah, we'll just get another field marshal hired. Uh, and we'll, we'll just keep him on the defense, I think. There's no reason to have multiple, uh, to have another theater created. So these guys will be defending here. This army is the Eastern army, so we won't even put them into anything. And then this is the army that we have defending ports right now. So we'll have them, uh, join there. And we look good to go. All right, excellent. Just make sure our field marshals aren't overwhelmed, which I didn't assign a field marshal here, so let's go ahead and do that. We got another defensive guy here. And yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and make sure that he gets the unyielding defender. Yeah, let's do that. There you go, excellent. So two defensive field marshals and the one offensive one. All right. So as far as progress being made, only a few weeks so far uh, in the game. Because remember, we're playing pretty darn slow. I'm just surprised at how much we've been stymied on all of our attacks. You know, they're not launching attacks either, so there's that. Of course, here we're, we're hurting from the supply. Uh, I don't know if we have everybody set to use. Everybody should be. I had the army set here to could have swore. Oh, I didn't do this guy. Okay. I thought we had all the offensive armies. Oh, you know what? Huh. I thought I could have swore I changed these guys. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I was waiting to do it on camera, and then I forgot. So that could be a real possibility. But they were supposed to be set up to, to go ahead and automatically change the supply here. So let's see if that works. If they'll change it all themselves. Because I haven't really utilized that the automatic system very much. So we'll see if that uh if that's effective or not. Alright, so yeah, still just not able to attack anywhere. Uh, we're getting more divisions coming over here, but yeah, just unfortunately not able to do much. We are winning these defenses though, so that's important. I wonder if these guys are ready to attack now. Let's let's try. One more time, guys. One more time. This guy's pretty weak, so we'll just let him sit there. Yeah, it's still not gonna work. Yep, just can't get the win there. Let's take a look and see why we can't get the win here. Like, what's going on? Why can't we win? Uh, we do have the intel advantage. Of course, they have enemy air superiority, so that's a huge advantage for them. It looks like our, our attack is pretty darn low. The terrain, uh, because we're attacking to a city, is, is hitting us kind of hard on the tanks. You know, they're obviously not great at fighting in cities. Exceeding the combat width, of course, is hurting us as well. We have the intel advantage, we got the planning bonus, got the commander skill. But the attack is still just far too low. Breakthrough's okay. It's obviously getting uh, reduced by quite a bit because of the train. The anti-air that we have in those one troops, the bloody sickles, is helping quite a bit. Look at how much is reducing the air superiority uh, bonuses that they're, they're currently getting. I had somebody said, you know, why was I getting anti-air and that they're useless? I would disagree. If you don't control the skies, anti-air are incredibly helpful. Uh, we lost more submarines, but sunk some troops there. Might need to make a few more adjustments up on here. Yeah, we could go ahead and throw a few more submarines out there. In fact, let's just throw both of these guys over here. But yeah, we are starting to lose many of those older submarines. But it's not really surprising. They're, they're really old submarines. It was still winning here, though we did have several troops uh, retreat there. It seems like this bulk of, of units is moving everywhere together. Maybe I accidentally moved all four of them there and didn't keep any here, but it does seem like they're all moving together, doesn't it? Uh, let's try and get over to here. While it's open, I don't know if we'll be able to, to stop these guys. Let's try just to get over to that province real quick. That reduces the size of the, the front by one province, so I think it'd be helpful. Over here, we've sunk uh, three convoys. Remember, these are all troop convoys, so it's, it's much more helpful than you'd expect. And just some convoys. It's not just hurting their supply or their their uh, trade routes. I mean, we're actually killing troops. Yeah, we just can't win here. All right, whatever. I'm gonna give up on it, guys. What we're gonna do is just go and start wrapping them up on this area. Then uh, that looks like the only way we're gonna be able to do it. Uh, is just kind of start attacking into these guys. Uh, maybe if we attacked right there, can they attack there? They might be able to. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll attack right there. Uh, and that'll cut these guys off. I just don't want to attack them, you know, one by one and just push them all into the port province. Uh, but here's the problem. They're sending 
more divisions here. Now, uh, that is stretching their supply capabilities here, so I guess that's good. It's going to make it more difficult for us to get this finished up. But I guess it's more supply they have to rely on that our, our submarines can, can help reduce. Uh, Italians took some heavy losses here. Lost four light cruisers, four destroyers. Also, we sunk three more cowboys. I don't know how much of that we did. But yeah, did do a bit of damage to the Italian fleet. Just trying to get them wrapped up. I'm really surprised the British haven't done that yet. Yeah, they haven't done as well against the Italians as I was expecting. Lost another submarine over here. Sunk two more German convoys and seven German convoys there. I remember those are all troops. I'll be uh, uh, interested to see how well we've done against the Germans casualty-wise, because I think we've probably caused quite a few casualties against them. Uh, we can go ahead and start attacking this way if we have the troop numbers. I don't think we do. We need to reduce the, uh, the Blue Army's front a bit, because they weren't really designed to have such a wide front. But yeah, we don't want to get cut off here either. We just keep losing all the attacks that we do, basically. Yep, every attack we throw at them, we unfortunately lose. So we're at that position now where we can't seem to get any victories. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, the medium tanks. This could really help us if we can get these guys done. Uh, so we got to get them fully designed. And there's a lot of changes left to be made here, guys. Quite a few. Get the medium self-propelled artillery done for now, I suppose. But yeah, quite a few changes left to be done on those uh, uh, medium tanks. And it's just using up all of our army experience, unfortunately. And we're not earning the experience as quickly as I would hope being here in the actual war. They're starting to spread the divisions out. Might let us take the port. Probably not, though. They have medium tanks there. So, yeah, that's a big reason why we're probably losing. Though the medium tanks don't fight well in the city either. <sighs> they shot down the bell. The mouse, specifically, shot down the bell. All right, so these troops are all moving over to here. Uh, they're taking their sweet time. Going, uh, um, why aren't they using the rails? Yeah, go on the railroad. Get over there quicker, guys. Come on. Uh, they are attacking us here and effectively winning. Wow. Okay, so yeah, they might actually be able to push us back here. This is a problem. Let's see how we want to do this. Can we attack here? Nope, we cannot. What if we just attack into this province? Would we get a win to try and push them back here? It doesn't look like that's going to work. If that's not going to work, then might as well stop the attack. Halt. And then send divisions over here. It looks like we're going to lose no matter what, though. I can try and get somebody over there before they do. Uh, this guy gets there in 14 hours. Looks like they're going to get there in 7. So that would not be quick enough. So they're just going to take that, unfortunately. Yeah, they're just pumping divisions over here. I think we are in a, having some serious issues here now. Oh, Lord. Stop. Can't get him to, to stop. <laughs> Come on, guys. Stop doing these silly attacks. So, yeah, we're having some, some issues now. They might actually be able to push this front forward now, unless they do stupid attacks across the river to try and get Memel back. Y'all know how the Germans feel about Memel. They want it. They want it bad. So, yeah, just kind of an unfortunate situation here where we just can't seem to wrap it up. I almost want to take, if we weren't, you know, having so much difficulty down here, I'd take some of the Red Army divisions and, and put them over there. Uh, let me see if there's not anything we can do here. Or perhaps, like, have less tanks on this front and put more of the tanks here for pushing forward. That might be good. How many tanks do we currently have on this front? We actually only have one. One tank on this front line. All right, so that's what we'll do. We're going to take some tanks, probably all these tanks here, and put them onto this front since that's where we're trying to push forward. And then we'll just take like one of these weakened divisions here and put them over here. Get them up to eight. But yeah, our key should be here trying to push forward with that red army. All right. Um, everybody's got like offensive lines and stuff, right? Yeah, everybody's good to go here. Yeah, our, off our offensives are just stymied at this moment, guys. Just not really able to do much. Really just trying to hold on to this so we don't lose here. Uh, I didn't expect to have as much difficulty in this area. I thought once we got them cut off, it was over. That was a wrap, and this would be cleared up, and then we could focus on the front line here. But, yep, it just stopped everything, unfortunately. What we need to do is try and get to the river here, at the very least. So we might start launching some offensives. Uh, we'll let all our troops get into place, get their, their uh, planning bonuses up, all that kind of good stuff. And then we'll try launching some offensives. Uh, we did get the improved anti-tank upgrade, so that's really good. That'll help us out. 
And I suppose we should go after anti-air next, since those have been helping us. And uh, we don't control the skies here, so that's the biggest problem, I think. Uh, I, I imagine we're losing a lot of planes. Yep. I think we're going to have to completely pull out of here, guys. We're not even competing at this point. So we might want to just go ahead and pull all of our planes back and put them somewhere where we have, like, better odds. Like, here, we're actually losing a memo, despite the across-the-river attack. So you might want to move your planes over to there. I think that's what we're going to do, guys. Let's just move these around a little bit. Change up the, uh, the situation here. So let's have them go here. And uh, continue doing the, the close air support. And then take some of the fighters that are here. And have them move over here as well. And then... Let's have these guys go over to this area. And then the naval bombers obviously are going to stay. Bombing the, uh, the sea there. We'll keep the strategic bombers here. They can be difficult to engage. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, the fighters here, we'll move them back to this area, but what we're going to want to do is probably spread out some of our planes a little bit. Like, for instance, maybe get some of these close air support that we have here. And move them down to this area. Don't have any room there, so we'd have to move over here. Because we'll see how well that ends up working out. You know what? We should put them over here. To get some close air support in the Balkans. Yeah, so we'll move them there, and... These guys here would probably stick around wherever they're at. Just gonna move them there. And then the last two fighters here, where are these guys located? All right, so we have one here, he'll stay here. And then the, the final one will probably move down into this area. Cause I assume they're gonna move all their, their planes to other locations since they now have gained complete control of the Western Poland zone. But yeah, I think we're just probably taking too high of losses uh, we could take a look at the details there if we want to see the exact numbers on how many planes we've lost, how many we shot down. So our troops have been bombed heavily. Look at that. Good God. Uh, barely any bombing uh, by our own bombers. Uh, buildings, they're not even bombing our buildings. Uh, we bombed theirs. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. We've done some damage to them. Uh, the farters lost. This is where we're going to get hit hard is how many planes we lost. We lost 276 planes. Uh, six of those to accidents, but most of those to the enemy. Uh, while they have lost 62, uh, we've lost 65 bombers, they lost 42. That's a little bit better numbers there. Uh, support bombers here, we lost 178, they lost 72. Uh, we disrupted a lot of their bombers, so our fighters actually have been helping quite a bit. Uh, disrupting all those those bombers they have there. So, you know, pulling them back is actually going to make things much worse here. And then we also have destroyed some of their railway guns. Alright, so we did okay there. Honestly, I mean, the, the heavy thing here is the, the fighters lost. That's, I think, where we're, we're getting hit the hardest, and I assume we are now, yeah, having some, some problems. Yeah, I guess we, we have them set to get more factories, but our, our problem right now is we don't have any factories. Is there anything we can pull from that we don't need as much of? I don't think so, guys. Uh, as far as infantry equipment, we've probably taken heavy losses. Yeah, we're losing quite a bit. So I don't think we should pull back on the infantry equipment, plus we're updating stuff. So I don't think that would be wise. But yeah, you can kind of see how we've done here. It's just not been, uh, it's not been great. I guess we'll accept their expeditionary forces as well. Why not? And we'll take a look at them. I assume they're all pretty cruddy. They're all this template three. Actually, you know what? They are decent. They're much better than the Mog Mongolian troops. Uh, we're going to get them trained up. Uh, this guy's already trained. I don't know if he has all his equipment. He does. He has all his manpower and stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and put him onto this front here. This defensive front that we're bringing. And it looks like we do have some of the troops there. So we can go ahead and start pulling back a little bit. And maybe pull back the green army here. So I can kind of get further down this way. Though, of course, the uh, supply here is a major issue. Yeah, supply is really bad until we get that railroad built. We actually filled, uh, finished the railroad. And yet it's still really bad. There's just too many troops, I think. Yeah, I think there's just too many troops on this front right now. Alright, uh, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, they do have the... Where they're using the uh, the motorized, so that does seem to work alright. But yeah, it's just not enough, guys. And, and it's not really the railroads, either. It's just too many troops, I think. They just can't supply them. That's kind of an issue. They're just getting a little bit of penalty here in these ones, but these troops here are getting the biggest penalty. I'm going to try and push forward here, guys, with everything we got, and see if we can get a damn win. 
It's green right now, but I kind of feel like that's going to end up uh, becoming a loss eventually. Yeah, I don't think we'll keep winning that. We'll try to attack here again. I know we keep failing, but let's try it one more time. Looks like that would be a success. We got to keep on trying to push forward, guys. Can't just like let them uh, get their way here. A lot less divisions here, but now they're attacking. Okay, we'll let them attack then. And they would actually win there. Oh, wow. That's not good. Now, we do have more troops coming over here. Uh, let's go and send more of these guys over to this province. Make sure we don't lose there. But yeah, the medium tanks are kicking our butt here. I guarantee the problem here is the lack of penetration. Well, it says this division compares two of two of the of the armored enemy vehicles. So again, the bloody sickles here, uh, because they have the anti tanks, uh, you know, in there, the division design are able to to pierce those medium tanks. Uh, so that's good. Uh, their armor isn't very high. That's the thing. They're at uh, 49.7. So because their medium tanks have such low armor, we can actually pierce it. And as you can see here, our piercing is almost 52, 51 points on them. So because they have such low armor, we can pierce it. So again, that's that's huge for us. And so yeah, a lot of people were, you know, wondering, or not a lot of people, I had like two or three people, you know, thinking I shouldn't have put the anti-tanks or the anti-air, shouldn't even bothered using them. That's why we're using them. You can see how they're already having effects. Uh, I feel like it's a, a good investment for those units to have the anti-tanks and the anti-air. But yeah, they just keep on bringing more troops in here, uh, so it's a problem. All right, well, we're going to have to end the episode here. We didn't really make a whole lot of progress, like two weeks or something like that. Not even, or excuse me, I meant one month, but not even one month. They did take this here. Wow. Yeah, they just keep on pushing us back here. That's the problem. They're about to take Memo as well. We don't have enough troops here to stop them, so that's a problem. Yeah, it looks like they are starting to advance all along here. And so all of our gains might be lost here very soon, guys. Yeah, if I can't seem to, to get more divisions to stop them. We can send one over here to Memel to make sure it's pr protected, but you know, then that division, uh, or excuse me, that province will be open. Yeah, I think we're going to need to send more troops, honestly. So maybe take one of these guys and put him onto this front. But yeah, it's definitely an issue, unfortunately. Uh, and our offensives everywhere else have pretty much stymied too. Uh, we are holding the rest of the front okay. So yeah, it could be a much worse situation, honestly. We're pushing forward there successfully. This did go into a loss as I expected it to. Not surprising. Troops there just don't have enough supply. We're also taking attrition because of the bad supply. Clearly, we're going to have to to fix the situation here, guys. Uh, the supply situation or move the divisions out or maybe a combination of those. Uh, because yeah, this is clearly not working here. So we're going to have to fix, fix the situation there. Uh, also, this, the situation in the skies is, is pretty bad as well since we had to pull back from there. We do control the rest of the zones, so there's that. And we are bombing their, uh, their ships and their, their troop convoys. And I'm just hoping that this, uh, the Swedes here can hold out. Looks like they have advanced some. Uh, but yeah, that's actually going to have to be the end of the episode here. You know, I'm, I'm happy with how we've done so far. It could have been much worse. Uh, we could have been pushed back, for instance. Uh, so we've had success, and overall, it's it's going fairly well when you consider uh, the situation and the huge penalties we're getting, particularly with the, the Air Force. Uh, this here is uh, just massive penalties here, guys. And so the fact that we did as well as we did do, which I know we didn't do great, but I feel like that was kind of a success in Western Poland when you consider the fact that we have this modifier here. Uh, it feels like it's the best we could do. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.